So I wanted to help others if they needed help. And we just thought that, you know, like a lot of people didn't think it was actually going to be as bad as it did, but with the category drop, yes, that's another factor why we did stay. There's a significant danger in focusing too much on category with storms like Hurricane Florence or Harvey. The impacts of those storms are much broader than wind speed, but yet that's what the categories in the Saffir-Simpson scale give us. We need to have a way of conveying the impacts of the storm, rainfall, surge, and tornadoes, not just the wind. All you have to do is think about Hurricane Sandy, Hurricane Harvey, now Hurricane Florence. Neither of these storms were really above category one when they did their most damage. Of course, Harvey was a cat four at landfall, but most of that rain fell in Houston when it was a tropical storm. I think we're gonna have to have a broader conversation, the American Meteorological Society, the National Weather Association, uh, emergency managers and stakeholders to try to find a way to convey these types of threats going forward because the scientific literature suggests that we're gonna perhaps see these stalling, uh, slow moving, wet storms. And so we need to have a way to message them if we're going to be dealing with them more often. because you never know. I mean, when they, they tell you things, you, you listen, you know. Next time it could be worse. <laughs>